What is good, y'all? Welcome back to a new video. Happy New Year. Yo, baby, it's freaking 2024. It is 2024, and this is our first video of the new year, baby. It is. We're hyped, guys. As you could tell, we got a whole setup here. We're looking a little more like... I see it like actually like an we're in a studio. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it, look, it looks like a damn studio here like that. For real, it really does. You guys, we have a whole new setup for you guys because it's the new year, new content. So you already know, and yeah, with some raising canes too. With some raising canes, <laughs> guys, and also look if we look to the side, I know. We, we have this. <laughs> we've been we're looking to the side, guys, because we have this whole monitor like right next to us so we're able to actually see like the camera live you know and how we look and everything so if i got a little you know a little mocha i'll be like <laughs> i know because you know? i'm like i want to stare into the camera but then we're I'm looking like, at the screen only. yeah but yeah i'll try to stare into the camera more yeah we have to stare to the camera we gotta we gotta you know talk to you guys <laughs> about a little something so as you guys could tell we're gonna be doing a mukbang and our food is cold so it took a minute to set up this whole thing yeah so i'm a little bit like upset about that because if y'all know Y'all cannot eat raisin canes like freaking cold. With a soggy bread. Soggy, a Texas toast. Soggy fries. <laughs> Should've warmed it up. Wait, never fried. mind. It's okay. But I feel like the fries are gonna like get dry mm. though. It's still good. It's still good. Like, we're making you guys like hungry right now, but I we know. gotta we gotta like jump right into it. So how was your New Year? Like how was your New Year's guys? Like Tell us because we didn't really do that much. We didn't, you know. We were um, we were kind of boring. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we're boring, but we did stay in, you guys, because um, well, I was sick on New Year's. Was I sick on New Year's? I, I wasn't sick. I just had like a little cold. I didn't really want to be out and about, but it went yeah. away like in two days. It was fast, and yeah, we just kind of celebrated just us two at the end of the night. It was just two. Yeah, on the well, couch watching TV. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, oh. baby boy. Baby boy actually um almost made it to midnight. Yeah, he was partying with us till like eleven thirty. Yeah, baby girl knocked out. She couldn't. It was like mm -hmm. nine. Knocked out. Baby boy was over here partying with us. You know, like we were bumping music. Mhm. Mm and we were drinking too. We had a little bit of drink. A let him. Let him. Wait, what? We had wine. You oh, had wine. I did. You had wine. Mhm. Mm so I had a glass of wine, and then um we ended up making like mimosas, and it was pretty good. He had most of the champagne in his bottle and then like a little splash of orange juice. You got lit, baby. He got super lit and then like, we at the end of the night, I was like, oh my God, like do we continue drinking or not? Because we ended up getting like a bunch of headaches. Huh? Like, Cause we stopped, yeah. like, we stopped drinking. I knew it, like I hate that. So I, I drank like two, uh, I you drank two. three glasses. But you had three glasses of mimosas. It but was two, baby. Really? It was two glasses. And we're not talking about like small little flutes. It was literally like a wine glass because we don't have like the champagne flutes, but it was it was pretty good. We'll do it again, but not like how crazy we did it, you know? Um, look, honestly, we're just gonna jump right into it, guys. Look, we're just gonna start talking about this new year, like what we actually want to like do. So for sure, guys, drinking, at least for me, like I'm trying to cut it. Like I'm not trying to do that no more. We didn't, we didn't even do it that much this year. Occasionally here and Occasionally, there. Occasionally, yeah. I'm just trying to cut it yeah. more. Just go a little bit more minimal on that. Because first of all, guys, look, I don't want to have wrinkles. I don't want to have that type of like skin, you know, being messed up, waking up with a headache, hangover, mm -hmm. stuff like I, I hate that. Like, it's plus, the worst. Yeah. Plus, we want to be healthy. Like, we don't want to be like feeling sick, you know? <laughs> I mean, besides the food, I'm talking about like alcohol is just not good for you, period, you know? It's not. So, we're, we're trying to cut it off. Like, like completely and maybe maybe if you go on a vacation maybe we'll have like a little cocktail and stuff but we are trying to cut that off guys like i was just not vibing like the first day of like the year i just had a mean 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 headache yeah so that's why we're like oh let's just not do this throughout the year only if it's like something like special or you know celebration occasion but yeah not like when we're at home and no we're not doing that no more <laughs> hell no i love my bad guys, I'm like having a hard time trying to like put right here like my freaking drinks. We don't have a table, so we have to use our hands. Yeah. So I don't know where I left off, but we had some technical difficulties, but <laughs> um, what I want to talk about is also like fitness, just being like on our health grind. Like I want to talk about that because I've been getting a couple DMs, you know, I've been getting a couple friends too that they've been telling me, yo, like you lost like weight. Mm. Like, you know? Wait, sorry to interrupt. 
but the reason why we're also doing this video is because we did get like a bunch of dms just like asking us for like oops asking us for like advice here and there like just wanting to know more about our lives so i feel like let's just hit off a video like for the first time and just talk about like the, the new year like just bring everything like in just one video you know yeah and also like because you guys love it like we've seen that you guys love like our sit downs mm -hmm. you know because it's more like it's intimate man. you know it's like we're talking to y'all you know and everything so like we're over here like chilling you know like <laughs> eating some raisin canes you know yeah. like just talking to y'all but look go ahead now <laughs> you just want to get off that off your chest huh yeah before i forget <laughs> <laughs> look so i've been getting a lot of friends a lot of people dming me you know asking me like yo did you lose weight you know and guys look yes i'm healthy you mm -hmm. know nothing's wrong with me you know thank god for that you know yeah but i did lose weight because guys i've actually been putting in work if y'all didn't know we have a gym in the house and i've been going almost every single day like almost every single day and i've included more cardio I mean, just cardio like the other day like two days ago i just did like an hour just running mm -hmm. i was running guys I, i'm just trying to like just have some more endurance and stuff so i was running so i've been losing hella weight and i actually feel good like i'm not sure i can't tell you guys you know like how much i weight right now how weight you haven't weighed yourself i haven't see i've always been big on that like i don't like knowing my weight because i feel like it's stressing me out i just want to keep grinding i just want to keep pushing you know, just to like feel better you know i mean i feel like weight is just a number regardless you know you'll know like when your clothes doesn't fit too tight or yeah. like, your clothes doesn't feel like you can't you know? put in them jeans right yet. or you feel like suffocated because sometimes that happens like when you like you know you've gained a little bit of weight you know? yeah or you know the longitas you know pop out the chonies you exactly know? so you're like yeah. oh uh -uh, i've gained weight or i've lost weight where your start your clothes starts feeling like a lot loose you know yeah. so I feel you on that. So yeah, guys, look, I've been watching my diet. We actually we eat raising cane. That, look, that's what I'm saying. Look. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Look, it's good because when you're like watching yourself, like what you eat throughout like the whole week, you can have one cheat cheat day, you know? Yeah, because honestly, we don't like to eat takeout like at all. We usually cook at home like every single day, like our least our three meals, you know. So we don't really we don't really get takeout, huh? Unless we crave something like wings yeah. or something. But sometimes two meals a day, though. Yeah. But usually we don't be eating out like that. Because mm -mm. mm. we get tired of it too. You Guys, know? yeah, we got tired last year. I feel like we're eating out a lot. Yeah. We're just eating out a lot of fast food, just restaurants, everything. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's just kind of like, like my taste buds are just kind of like, you know what, man? Like, let's just cook at home. Let's just. Like, like we got over everything, yeah. you know? So it's like. Regardless, I feel like your food tastes better when you make it at home. So yeah, and honestly, guys, look, we got this because um, it was like right there when we were like, coming home. Yeah. So it was like right there, so we got it. Or else I wouldn't just like suggested this as well. I know, right? Yeah. So guys, look, it's all about you know. I don't want, I don't like saying dieting though. Just I don't like, watching I don't like, what you eat. Yeah, watching <laughs> what you eat with moderation. You know, just eat what uh -huh. you want. But for sure, you gotta put in that work in the gym. You know, like just you know do cardio. Cardio is more like the most important thing. You know, at least to me, like my body's like that. Like I needed to lose weight, you know. Yeah. Has anybody asked you like, do you take anything like for? What do you mean? Like supplements or anything? No. I take no steroids. So that's what <laughs> I take no steroids. No, nah, look. You I know do, what I mean? Like yeah. your shakes and stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I do take a protein shake. That's kind of like after my workout. So like it's kind of a pose workout. I take a protein shake. So I forgot what this brand is called. I I freaking I think I put it on IG. I haven't used it, guys. I went to Costco to actually get that other bag, the whey protein. Mm -hmm. So I've been using that. And sometimes I add like the collagen on that. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I've been using oat milk now. So I switched from like milk to oat milk and it's from Costco. Guys, it's fire. Like it is freaking fire. Like I love how it tastes, everything. It's smooth, like all that. Mm -hmm. So I do take that guys and also just eat like a lot of chicken. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much it. That's why it keeps me kind of lean. So right now I feel good guys, you know, like I got energy. I'm looking good, you know, no more longitas. <laughs> I can't say that for myself, but we're getting there, What you there, mean, guys. baby? <laughs> hey, you lost head of weight. Well, yeah. Like, you lost head of weight, baby. But it just keeps going down. Like, your body's yeah. still not the same. It takes a while, but because we're working that, on that. Well, if you guys didn't know, like, we just had baby boy. So, we went through pregnancy, so that's understandable, you know, why? That was six months ago. It don't matter. <laughs> Some people take, like, a year, baby. That's true. It does take a mm. long time, like, for your body to just feel normal. Even, like your hormone levels like they're not the same like you have to wait a while like they for say your it, body yeah. to be normalized you know they like, say it takes two years for your organs to go back to normal yeah mm. yeah and everything gets moved in there and it just yeah it's a lot of you guys already know what what, what <laughs> i've been talking about lately but other than that i mean what else have they been asking you you mentioned it right now what did i forget already 
Yeah, you forgot the whole uh, advice, mm. relationship advice. Yeah, so a lot of people want to start the new year like, oh, leaving like friendships, relationships, like toxic Damn, relationships want, in the past, you know? They want to dump people? Mm-hmm. Damn. Just not, you know, be dumping boyfriends or girlfriends is more, mainly like even family members, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. just the toxic like relationship, like they don't want to go through that all over again in 2024. So they want to know like, how, how do you guys think like, we could like leave that behind basically, you know? So, I mean, we did some of that, like kind of like, just not like, how do you say it? Like we, we just kind of, I don't know how to explain it. Like they grew apart from people. Yeah, we just kind of like not that like oh we don't like these people or anything like that. It's just that we're like kind of focused on just like our our family for now, and then just trying to like we're trying to like I I think I spit on you, didn't I? You probably did. <laughs> I was gonna say we're just trying to save our peace. That's what we're trying yeah. to do. Like this year we we want no drama. We want none of that stuff. You know we just want to like be living. You know we just want peace, you guys and. A lot of people like want to live in peace, obviously. So that's why they're reaching out to us. Like, what do you think? Like, I should do in this case. Like, if my friend just talks to me when um, they want to hang out, but they don't like respond to me when they're, you know, for like personal things. You know, just to hang out and have fun and drink, basically. Oh, it's like not, a drinking buddy type of thing. Yeah, it's not like when you really need something and they're there for you. You know, it's what kind mean? of what well, benefits them only. Right? Exactly. So I'm just like, damn, like, has that ever happened to you? It has, you know? Really? I'm a, yeah, it has. I'm gonna speak about, um, I'm not gonna say names, you know? I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna start a whole cheese me here, but, um, so, uh, that has happened to me before, like, with, you know, homeboys in the past. Yeah. Where I would have homies that would literally just wanna go out and drink, mm -hmm. and they'll just hit me up and stuff, you know, just to drink and everything. And when I would just come out, like, telling them, like, yo, I got this problem situation, they wouldn't be around for nothing, you know? Mm -hmm. So I put up with it. I put up with it for years until it was a point where I'm just like, you know what, man, what am I doing? I'm just damaging myself, you know, because I'm giving this person like basically the 100%, you know, of, you know, the friendship. And it's not being, you know, basically reciprocated back. So, so they would just look for you to hang out. Yeah, exactly. You know, so um, actually when we actually were together, I, a lot of relationships that I had just kind of like were cut off because they thought like, oh, he's done, you know, he has a he has a girlfriend, he has a partner or something, you know, like it's done. They don't want to like hang out with me no more. They mm -hmm. wanted to respond to my text. They want to come out looking for me no more. Yeah. So I started seeing the real thing, you know, like the real friendships. And me, I'm, I'm very straightforward, you know, like if someone just messes up like something, whatever, I'm going to call it out. Or I'm just going to cut you off. That's it. I, like, mean, I don't waste time, you know. That does happen because same for me. And when we got together, like for some reason, like friendships like we're just gone like you know what i mean like i mean I, we did focus on each other a lot but it was just like they could still be around you know like yeah. but they just like like they didn't exist so that that way you kind of know like they're not real like friends you know what i mean like so i didn't take it personal obviously like i just moved on you know yeah it's so, like why why you keep people around like that you know if they're not gonna be there for you and basically have that type of bond with you yeah you know why are you gonna keep that around like, yeah, so, so don't feel like you have to be like yeah. forcing a relationship, I guess you could say. Like what's meant to be is meant to be regardless. Like so move the, on, you yeah. know. Um, move on. <laughs> like nah, boom, the, bye. <laughs> at the end of the day, you come first. So you gotta yeah. think about yourself. I mean people are gonna say like, oh that's being selfish, but hey, guess what? No, because nobody else has your back but yourself at the end of the day. So. Yeah, exactly, you know, so be selfish. <laughs> be, be selfish, selfish. just be yo, you know. What do they what do they call it? Las tijeras or something? Saca las tijeras or what they say? Was that saying? I don't know. I don't know, but just saca las tijeras, just cut, the, cut them off, man. That's it. Yeah, I cut them off. All right, so I got another um, like advice question. Basically, they're asking us, like, they see us as, you know, doing YouTube. They see us, you know, living our lives, like, with our kids and stuff like that. They want to know, like, how do we balance everything? Like, how do we balance work, life, and, like, personal, and us two, and the kids, you know, just everything. Yo, I mean, <laughs> that's hard. I'm gonna say it's hard, mm -hmm. but I'm just gonna say this: that going to this new year, I just realized that mental health though is very, very important. Yeah. I don't know what was going on outside. It was a crazy dog fight. We yeah. used to like dogs freaking fighting up, but look, I forgot the question. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I was distracted. The question was like, how do we balance everything? Like our oh. personal life. Oh the yeah. Kids work. 
like YouTube, everything, you know? Mental health is important. So mm -hmm. I feel like going to this new year, yeah. I feel like I'm prioritizing more like my mental. Because think about it, guys. Look, if we're not right mentally, you know, we're, we're stressed out, we're depressed, we're like angry or something. How are we able to like, you know, care for our kids? How are we able to make YouTube videos for y'all, you know? Yeah. I feel like I cannot fake that. Like it has to be like where I'm in a clear space, you know, my head is right. I'm good, I'm happy type of thing. So, I mean, it is hard. I feel like it's just uh, prioritizing kind of like, or you know, your schedules. So we do kind of have a schedule going on, you know, when it comes to like, you know, filming, the kids, everything. Yeah. But we do take time also for the kids. We do dedicate time that we dedicate family time because we are a family, you know, and we are a couple's channel. So it is hard to kind of balance both, but we make it happen. We make it happen. I mean, I don't know what advice I could give, like tips. I mean, I could just say like... I mean, honestly, it starts with like your mental. Mm -hmm. Like you said, because otherwise, like how are you supposed to function if you're not right 100%, yeah. you know? So it's just like... You know, we do a lot of like, um, refre you know, like when we refresh certain things that like we know it's been too long or it takes over like what we're doing, like overwhelming, I guess you could yeah. say. We kind of just take a step back and we're like, okay, like we shouldn't be, we can't do a hundred times, a hundred things a day. You know what I mean? So just yeah. like, let's just tackle one at a time and it does get stressful, you know? It does. So like that's the advice you gave me recently yeah. and it's been working. So that's the reason why I want to explain something real quick. That's the reason why we've kind of disappeared from like TikTok, you know, <laughs> that we just haven't been really much active. We are now yeah. a little bit, but we just need that time sometimes, you know, like I think it's a little too much. I feel like TikTok is like this, yeah. like you got to be every day posting something to be like relevant or, yeah. or whatever the case is, right? And that's a lot sometimes, you know, sometimes like all you do is just work that you don't live, you know? So I feel like that's why we have to take a step back and just be like, you know what? We got to like, you know, retract, you know? Yeah. regroup basically you know like just focus on our mental health and go back at it to just bring y'all like you know entertaining content yeah because um like i'll give you an example of like one day in our lives okay like we wake up obviously we you know our baby gets up he wants to feed so we feed him we um you know aliana gets up you know we have to pretty much like do a, like a little morning routine with her like mm -hmm. getting her up getting her ready blah blah blah, bringing her down breakfast that's a lot already and it takes two of us so we kind of tag team both of the kids yeah. and then either we need to go grocery shopping you know like it's a lot essentials and then find the time to do a video tiktok so it's just sometimes yeah we definitely need a schedule and just kind of like one thing at a time i usually try to have like mental notes but i've been telling him that for the new year i want like my own ipad okay <laughs> um to just kind of like just write everything down like on a list you know like i know i have my phone you guys but i want to have my little ipad with me you know i got you baby you know what i mean right I got you. just to be more organized you know so that way we don't feel like it's too much for us so yeah because i don't i don't like doing that you know i don't like like waiting to the end of the day and it's like midnight and we just say like oh you know, you know let's film this video you know like we have yeah. we have to have it already in our heads like what well, what are we gonna do like because then it's i'm just tired kinda, by that time it, yeah and it's unorganized oh. like it's just we don't want to give you guys like like poor quality content you know we just want to give like, you no guys energy. like the best yeah. content you know so yeah just you know take it one thing at a time basically that's how i feel and that's how i'm gonna do it every year i'm not sure maybe that's the best advice right there like one step at a time you know T like tackle one thing at a time all right, someone else wanted advice on how do you know if that person is the one? How do you know, basically, like... <laughs> Yo, are we like Dr. Phil right now? <laughs> no, but I just feel, because a lot of people, like, we've talked about this in our videos, that how we met, and then, like, how we got married fast, how we had a baby, like, you know, that same year. Everything happened that same year, you know? Yeah. So they just want to, like, how did you guys know that you guys were, like, for each other, basically? Like, how do you know that person's the one? Look, that's hard because a lot of people, even like family, mm -hmm. they put us on this pinnacle, you know, like, yeah, well, we're at the top and we're like the top couple and, you know, like they got everything perfect, you know, and I don't necessarily like doing that because we're not, we're not. <laughs> we, we, we right now, right now. no, we don't, but no. nobody's perfect. No, Here nobody's perfect. Like there's no such thing as that, you know, like mm -mm. there's this thing that's perfect and stuff. And I just don't like that people like. Not that I don't like it, but I just feel like it's not necessary to kind of be like, yo, I want to be like them. It's cool you aspire to have, you know, your, your relationship like that. But I feel like when people like do that, it's like they expect it to work out for them, you know? 
like they expect to meet somebody like the same way we met, you know, and get married the same freaking year we met, you know, or, or move in together or have kids, you know, like. It's like a fairy tale, you know. Exactly. I mean? so. Look, our, our, <laughs> the way we met, like how we met is like a fairy tale, like a fairy tale, like story and stuff, but. I don't like telling people like, yo, do this, it'll happen like us, because reality is We don't that, know. Like, we don't know, it could be different for y'all. It could be like, you, the same day, you you meet somebody, fall in love that same day, or it could be like a year later, you know, like, I mean, I don't know. Honestly, the best, I, I feel like when you, if you feel like that person is the one, like, you feel it, and you really do feel it, like, nothing's forced. And it's just like, the flow just keeps going, you know, like, yeah. there's gonna be like little, like, you know, dips here and there or whatever, but, I that's feel life though. That's regardless, coaster, like you guys are still there for each other, like you know what I mean. Like you know when the vibe is there. If you're willing, know. yeah, look. If you're willing to like basically go through through like thick and thin, mm -hmm. you got someone real. Yeah, like, and honestly, me and him, like we never ghosted each other through our like relationship. Like mm -hmm. it was everyday like communication, and then like like we mentioned it before that we broke up and then got back together that same hour. You know? Yeah, so it's like it it wasn't like oh like he ghosted me and then that was it. No, like. We would literally like just not be away from each other. Like we still, even though we were mad at each other, we still wanted to like communicate, you know? Like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, you just know, like, I feel like you don't have to think about it. You just know when that person's the one. Yeah, I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I know what she says is all cap and stuff, but I've never like fallen in love. Mm -hmm. Like I've never fallen in love. I never told anybody like, I love you. You know that? And I feel like with you, that's when I, I felt it. I felt it. Yeah. Like I fell for you and look at us now, you know? Yeah. Like I took a tell it was a real thing. Like, it was just like an equal type of mutual like understanding and just feeling, you know? And that's why I think it yeah. was like this. Yeah. And on top of that, like we both were seeking the same thing. So mm -hmm. when it happened, like it just felt right. It wasn't like one person was thinking, oh, like I don't want to be with her or I want to be, you know what I mean? It was like the same, we're on the same level. Like yeah. mentally we were on the same level, just like, our goals were like very similar. Like we just wanted like a, a good relationship, you know, like, and we're not toxic. I, don't, I mean, it's not that we, we don't argue or anything, but we're not toxic where we're like yeah. petty to each other. Like I think we're playful with each other. That's yeah, we're is. not disrespectful towards each other for sure. Like we're not like talking shit to each other or anything like that, but I mean, we do get mad at each other, but- Who doesn't though, you know? <laughs> we're like, just go upstairs and I'll be down here or whatever, but, and then I come into bed, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she comes into bed like nothing ever happened. I'm, I'm like, like you, just, me. you just literally told me off right now. Why are you over here trying to cuddle? You know? No, but it just it just feels right. It's not forced. I always say yeah. that it's it doesn't feel forced. Nah, you know what I mean? Like, that's why like, that's why like every morning I'm telling you every morning like as soon as I wake up the first thing I freaking do is look at you and just be like, I love you, baby. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel the same way. Like I, I feel blessed to wake up and just be like, oh, he's next to me. You know? <clears throat> Yay, you know? Yeah. So, yeah, you guys. So, if you know that the person is not the one, then run Yo, I mean, the hills. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's just hard, though. That's hard to give somebody advice. Like, because of, uh, it's like we could just tell you guys, like, if you know, you know. But sometimes there's people that are just so good at being players. Yeah, but there's always those little people. red flags that, you know what I mean? But eventually, true, you're going to find out. You know what I mean? Like, But it sucks, though, because you've you gone through this. Your time. Exactly. You wasted your time, but you've gone through this whole thing, try to maybe feel like a feeling to this person then you end up getting dumped or played but you know hurts, what right? it's not a, a waste of time it's a lesson learned and that's it oh you're right okay you know what i mean oh, like damn. you learn from that and don't do that shit in the future you feel me yeah right? i feel like we're an episode of dr phil right now what's you're going right, on no. hire us for like i don't know like dr phil i'm just kidding <laughs> for freaking uh, relationship therapy yeah we charge a hundred dollars an hour i'm just kidding damn i'll charge more <laughs> for it. so a lot of you guys always ask us How'd you guys start your YouTube channel? Like, what yeah. what steps did you guys take? And we've been telling you guys, honestly, just start it. Just go on YouTube and sign up for your little channel and then just start it. Do your content. Even if you don't have a camera, if you have the iPhone, whatever, 15, obviously. Look, you could you start. could look, you could do it with an iPhone. You could start recording with an iPhone. You could be even be in the bathroom, you know, yeah. taking a number two and stuff, and just recording yourself and just doing whatever. Like I'm telling you, like it's just crazy. Like anything could just go viral. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm look, the consistency is key. Like I know that sounds so cliche and so mm -hmm. like outplayed, you know, people say that stuff, but it is true. Like the more you put out there, it's like the more you're getting like how you say it? the you're putting yourself out there so like you'll be attracting more audience you know what i mean it's like a slow process but it is, it is. eventually you'll see the growth like 
it doesn't stay like this forever like you'll see it going up and up and up you know so that's why it's yeah. like be consistent it's like what they say you know slow motion is better than no motion exactly you know? so if you're thinking about it just do it go for it if you're if that's something that you really want to do and you want to start it start it and stay consistent that's it yeah man i like it is it's hard but like what, what's easy you get me like everything yeah. is freaking hard you get me yeah you gotta yeah. work hard for you it you have to you have to you know like everything right now look guys if you could just show you like right here we literally have like we said before we have like a whole studio set up we got lights beaming down on us we got like a a whole new camera rig you know yeah. like we have a whole freaking monitor that we're able to see you know ourselves like you know <laughs> i'm like you, you, I see you. You've just been I keep looking, looking at myself. I've been feeling myself. I was kidding. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, look, we have a whole thing here that did not start like that. We started with a small camera. It wasn't even like the the newest model. It was the G7X Mark uh, II. Mark II. So and that, the Mark III was already out. Yeah, and so. I don't know if there's a four, but it was it was the yeah. second one, you know. So we started with that. The quality was not that great, you know. At the time, you know, it was like doing it for us. So we were doing that, you know. We got a whole tripod stick too. Yeah. Everything, and we just started. You know, I'm I'm gonna lie. Look, our vlogs before, like they kind of cringy i don't like watching it okay i'll be <laughs> honest with you guys right now i don't like watching like our videos yeah it, i don't know if that's like everybody but that's just me personally like i don't like watching myself you know what i mean like yeah sometimes i'm like that too though i don't even like hearing myself because i feel like my voice is so annoying Nah, you gotta be <laughs> so baby. I'm like, uh, when he tells me to like review something or like, hey, come sit down, let me look at this. I'm just like, I don't want to. Like, I'm just like, okay, and then I'm I'm out because I don't like seeing myself. Even if I put it on the TV, like, yeah, I rarely do that though. But when I put it on the TV, like she just walks out the room and so. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't like watching myself. I I don't know. Nah, I get that. I'm like that too sometimes. I, I'm just embarrassed. I'm shy. Like you know, like yeah, you guys. I don't like watching myself. Maybe it's just me, but I don't know. I just feel like I have an annoying voice. You know? No, your voice is sexy, baby. You and know. then just, you know. You're turning me on right now. Stop. Let's make a movie. Stop it. Let's continue with this video, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed our video today, our little setup here, because honestly, you're gonna be seeing a lot of videos like this. And I don't know, we might have more like things to talk about in the future in our YouTube channel. <laughs> yeah, so look, DM us, you know, stuff you want us to like talk about like in the video. So don't be afraid guys, you know, that we are gonna try to like touch upon every type of subject we can, you know? Yeah, because we love answering your questions. Like we literally try to keep up with everything you guys. And we love you guys so much. When you guys comment, when you guys hit us up, we we do see your comments for sure. Like we, we do. are, we are. We're in the comments, guys. We're like trying to like you know. Yeah. Get back to you, and if we don't get back to you guys, like you gotta understand that we're human. You know, we also got like our lives and we got stuff going on. So if we don't yeah. get back to you, like you know, just know it wasn't intentional. But I hope you love this video, guys. I really mess with this vibe here. This whole like sit down thing, like it's cool. Like I, I love it. Like this whole you know backdrop thing, you know, it's cool. It's cool. I like it, and I it's like cool. seeing myself. <laughs> Y'all, we're gonna be using that screen like moving forward. I mean, yeah, when we want to talk to them. <laughs> Yo, you vibing with that screen, huh? I am because with the camera, it was just like a little screen, you know? Yo, guys, so look, we're gonna close out the video right here. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll be seeing y'all next time. We love y'all. Peace. Peace.